Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. I'm so excited right now to be trying. It is a sample size, but it's a very expensive luxury high-end makeup product, which I don't usually try products quite hot, quite this expensive and high-end here on my channel, but I have a sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer with SPF 15, which I got in a gift with purchase from Ulta. But this is a super high rated hyped up primer that seriously sounds incredible. It is cruelty free and vegan, but it's supposed to help with redness, even rosacea redness, help smooth out the skin, hide visible pores. It seriously sounds like it targets everything that I struggle with with my skin and that I'm looking for a primer to help with. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to work for me. Ooh, even the sample size is in this really pretty frosted glass bottle. And it's a little spatula applicator that is so smart. I don't think I've ever seen that on a product before, but it's pretty genius. And when I review primers, I only apply it to half of my face, and then I also test it out with the same foundation that I always use when I review primers. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm just going to apply this to half of the face and it says you don't need much. So let's see how that does. Ooh, it has a really interesting texture where it almost feels like a balm, like the thinnest balm texture. It's really cool. It almost like kind of feels like a dry lotion <laughs> also is how it feels and it does blend out far. So that amount I think was a perfect amount to blend out for half of my face. It is a mineral sunscreen, so I am kind of noticing a little bit of a white cast to it. Very subtle, but something to note. But it's a really cool texture, just a very smoothing feel like a layer of smooth on top of the skin. And it doesn't really have a matte or a glowy finish, just a very like satin finish. I'm confused about what it's supposed to do for redness and rosacea though, because it's not like it has a tint of coverage to it and it didn't change the color of my rosacea or redness. It didn't tone down the redness at all. If anything, it just kind of looks like it did a, a layer of smoothing hydration. The pores are still visible, but they have that layer of smooth on top of them. So hopefully when I put on foundation, they'll look very smooth. And there's really no tackiness to this either. It really does just put like a satin soft finish to the skin. So, so far, just the primer alone, I'm not too impressed or really noticing that anything that's worth wearing it alone, but let's see how it is with foundation. But I was really hoping to see a reduction in the redness, but unfortunately that definitely didn't happen. And so the foundation that I always review primers with is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. And first, I'm just going to apply it to the side of my face without the primer so we can compare this without any primer mixing in. And with this foundation, we'll really be able to see how the skin is underneath because this foundation is always looking different depending on how my skin and my primer is. Okay, so foundation is now applied to half of my face without the primer, and it is showing poor texture, looking pretty matte, a little heavy, a little cakey in some areas. So let's see how it looks with the primer. It's going on fine, but it's definitely not gripping the foundation and giving me more coverage. Very interested how it's gonna be over my pores here. No different. <laughs> if anything, I feel like the pores look a little deeper with the primer. That's so weird. It really did not help with pore texture at all. 
and the foundation is really not sticking great onto this primer. It's looking a little bit more splotchy and uneven. I definitely do not have more coverage or any improvement over the rosacea redness there. I'm not noticing any more glow or hydration to this side of my face either. I'm truly not noticing any improvement or difference or benefits to using this primer, which I'm so surprised by because it has high ratings. And for that price point, I should be seeing a lot of improvements. But even like looking so up close, I really do not see anything worth <laughs> spending the money on this product, unfortunately. So if you've tried this out, Definitely let me know in the comments down below how it works for your skin and makeup because it can be different for everybody. I think that I see better improvements to my skin and my makeup with the drugstore primers that I love. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.